I love you all. Bless him, bless him, bless him. I want to come on and say something. Um, A dream that I had today. And the Lord gave me a scripture for this. In Isaiah 65, verse 21 through 25. And this is so amazing because I have not had a word like this. At all. <laughs> and so uh, Isaiah 65, 21 through 25, I'm just going ahead to read. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat scrawl like the bullock, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my in all my holy mountains, said the Lord. And we know that this is um talk about the new heavens and the new earth, but this is something that the Lord gave me revelation or understanding for this dream that I had about. That God is going to send people our way to help bring businesses off the ground. And so I'm just going to read, I guess, what I have uh, wrote down. God is going to put people or place people in your path with business ideas to help your business come off the ground or encourage you in your business or to, to encourage you to, to start or not quit. Because a lot of people want to give up because they're not seeing the thing happen the way that they, you know, imagine or thought for it to happen. But God is going to send people in your path to encourage you not to give up on that business. Do not give up. All right, God is going to God is God. <laughs> God is going to send people to encourage you to start the business that He have given you the business ideas, the plans, and the things of that nature that God have birthed in you, that God have began to put you through this labor with, you know, develop in you. That now it's the time to push. Now it's the it's the time to deliver. And so God is gonna put people in your in your path who are uh you know, in business themselves who are flourishing in their in their business, they're going to be able to throw out ideas onto you to help you get an understanding of how you should go about doing this or how you should go about doing that. You know, just giving you pointers and, and throwing things out there, uh, et cetera. And they're going to give you tips and some may even bless you with funds to do so. So God is going to also send people in people paths in, in this for believers in Christ. They're going to send people in your path to also fund you for the vision, fund you for the business that, that God is birthing through you. They're going to hear your ideas or they're going to hear you talk about this thing or however it pans out. And they're going to literally fund you, you know, in the, for this business. And I'm going to go ahead and read. They're going to coach you through the steps. God is going to send people to coach you through the steps of how to start and get your business off the ground. This is for the children of God. God is chosen. God is teaching his people to survive, to survive, how to survive and help his people to be equipped for times of our head. That's why these businesses or ideas has to come forth now. Because the time we are in are, are moving towards. So the business, this, the business ideas and things that you have been sitting down on, it's time for you to get up. It's time for you to stop procrastinating. It's time to you to start putting your hands to work. God is going to bless the, the work of your hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
and um in everything when god began to prosper your business but when god is so excited y'all please forgive me for tripping over my words but when god began to bless you and you begin to see fruit from this business do not turn your back on the lord because you got to remember who gave you this business who gave you the ideas who caused your hand to be fruitful? Who caused you to be fruitful? It wasn't you. You couldn't do it on your own. You know, and I know this. So we have to remain humble and always put God before everything. Everything. And give him glory. Continue to have a, uh, a heart that is after God. Continue to lift him up and glorify him in everything. Live holy. Don't let money change you. Don't let this business change you. Don't let the people around you. Who God is going to use to help you change you because they didn't do it. God touched their hearts to do it. And you're going to have people who are going to try to talk, talk against the plan that God have given you, the ideas that God have given you, the business that God have put before you. You're going to have people in your circle that is not going to have your a good interest, uh, your good interest or your best interest at heart. They're going to try to come up against you. They're going to talk things against it. But do not listen to the naysayers. Keep trusting God. Walk by faith and not by sight. Because faith is the substance of, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Y'all, please forgive me for tripping up my words. But I am so excited because I have not received a word like it's from the Lord. And this is just so amazing that God is uh, confirming his word. And he's, he's you know, He's so amazing because I was asking the Lord, I was like, Lord, is this from you? Is you giving me this for real, for real? Are you giving me this? So he gave me Isaiah and also he sent confirmation through someone else. And, you know, not just that person, but he sent confirmation after, conf after confirmation on today, after confirmation on today, after confirmation on today. So therefore, I'm bringing this video before you to give you confirmation that the Lord is saying, go for it. I'm sending you help. Go forward. So we are without it.